<laughs> I was just talking to Brian in uh, in Discord. He's streaming in Discord. He goes, "Wow, sniper." Um, so we're on the draw. This is not fast enough. One is. Did you kiss your mom with those snipes? <laughs> mm. I said I do. Nice. Time to turn one though. Here we go. And dead. Just dead. Yeah. He's streaming in Discord. I was actually just talking with him. This one. Um. The restart modo. Um. These are all just going to be better. Well, honestly, I'd rather have Voids there on my sideboard. Because Burning Wish is actually a ritual, provided you have Bergy in play and have access to a blue source. Thanks to Void Snare. is unplayable. One's decent. Fantastic. One seven. Might wind up just getting discarded. I think we're just going for an echo hand now. Did get it. Certainly awkward if we just get thought seized.
Not bad. This point city. I'll be dead anyways. Uh, I think two. I think two. Uh, but maybe more, and he's probably at least tested more. Sorry, right, hold on. Relay, that does not help. They're kind of wondering though. Oh, it's turn four. They haven't put a in play together. I guess they know I'm pretty unlikely to do much, so they're waiting for something deterministic, maybe. Considering playing that Chrome Mox out, maybe I should have. X and dead. Siege. Okay. I think we can do better. <laughs> this would constitute as better. A little bit better. Ooh. I think we're actually wishing for gamble for LED here. Six. This was so bad. Three lands, three burning wish, and a smashing. It's a good thing we had a really good echo, like mana wise.
So much trouble if this misses, though. Are you kidding me? On fucking real, man. It does, but my hand isn't even good. Like, my hand is pretty bad. I can get voids there and bounce my Grim Monolith. You know, I'm just supposed to put Echo in my hand. What a fucking luck sack. Yep, we got Thought Seized. Seriously, we drew another fucking land. Need to draw LED or Gamble. We need to draw it, like, now. Okay. Now there are way more draws that are good for us, but we're probably dead. I want to F6, but I have to untap this monolith, and I'm not just going to put myself at 18. Probably dead. It shuffled. That's good. That's not good. What the f It's an echo. Hmm. All right, Storm is wicked high, so I'm going to do this. Another Echo. Well, I guess I shouldn't have done that, because Echoing Truth would have been a card may have been a card. 
we could do something. Return to get unlucky. Relay. Ooh, that's good. Shuffle. That's good. Pass. Pass. Let's see. Uh, I think I'm okay with that. Wow, we both hit a fail rate at a very unlikely, uh, unlikely, we both hit a very unlikely fail rate. I'm assuming that's what this is. Gonna be a relay. In Aju, okay. Don't have another volcanic. Only have one card. Two, four, six, seven. I think we gamble for this LED. Can't hit LED or our other gamble. We can gamble for Echo first. No way to... Oh, wait. Two, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we can just guarantee a frontside Echo if we play Pedal first. And play City. I do, yes. They have four, five, six mana, a bunch of artifacts. Uh, all it takes is a cantrip, and all it takes is a beseech. Like, absolutely, I want to. Now the big question is, do we go for the LED? I think so. I think a raw dog frontside echo... Actually, just not average good enough. All right, didn't get super unlucky that time. Two, red. Lots of gambles, man. Lots of gambles. We do have two Chrome mocks in those, so we can just go for the guaranteed echo. Do we have like we have a lethal line? We go for Burning Wish. We can do that first. Go pedal. They don't have green for Veil. Now they're dead. That was close. Too close. This hand is so good if it hits Soul Land, Petal, LED, Chrome Mox. Six and 13, 16. You normal lands and Spirit Guide would be okay, but probably not good enough. That's actually not too high a percentage. There's problems, but it's better. Oh, 
opponent's name is Termagurf. Termagurf. <laughs> yep. There are very few matchups that are more volatile and ping pongy <laughs> than that matchup right there. Because you're both so deadly that you basically can't pass the turn. I guess grid is actually more important here, so you can daze this if you want. Did not. I'm going to put that one in there. We've played this OP before. We were making a joke about their name last time. Yeah. All right, Wasteland's fine. Give me a red source. White. In there with grid. Oh wow, it is just in. All right, now any red source or echo is great. Masters, that's fine. Unless it takes us a while, we're gonna plow right through this. I wish I had Dance with Calamity, because this would be a prime spot for it. I mean, now we're probably just going to get stuffed by Force of Will. So, they wind up relaying. Yeah, I think we wait. By now, the odds are they have force. Need some sort of other action first. Red source gets me horn. Tap out of a force of will? He's gonna give me the green light. Wow, oh, and we hit. Oh, Stress Daddy with the raid. Thanks, Mark. Welcome, everybody. Hope you all had a good stream. Welcome aboard. So, yeah, now we get to go horn. Plus wheel, and we win. Hell yeah. They have nothing to interact with the Echo. Now we can even go... Mox imprint. Blue. Void Snare. Boing. You're dead. Now, this is a point that you could cast Reforge the Soul in the event that you haven't seen uh, enough of your opponent's deck to try and get Taxian Probe and take a peek. You'd be surprised just how often that trick works and people allow you to do it. And it can be very useful, especially when it's game one and you haven't seen their deck, especially when you're turn one them and they go, F6, I'm going to go to the bathroom. And then you get to Reforge them multiple times and just keep looking at all the cards. Um... Because you can do it once, and then you can then echo, and then drop back into it, and do it again. It comes up. And the deck is perfect. So, 
Run it back. But earlier today. Before the, I was preparing for the stream, right? And I'm like, oh shit, I'm in the middle of a league. I'm one and one. How am I going to, uh, I'm not going to be able to finish three matches and get this done. That's me saying that. And then the Epic Gamble, hold my beer. Hmm. Two minutes, six minutes, 11 minutes, two minutes, five minutes, three minutes, six minutes. Win, win, win. Wound up as a 4-1. Easy. Uh, his hand is fine. Oh. Mm, I probably should have played this. I mm, no, I guess I'm fine with it. Not scam. It's Grixis. No possibility of bowmasters. Go ahead and daze it, I dare you. Oh, that's rude. I wouldn't blame anyone for going there. A reasonable play, but we just have so much firepower here. I feel like we can. Okay, so they tapped out a pyroblast. I feel like we can power through. And it was too likely them just having a force. Because if Bergy had gotten through, they just had a daze, and then they weren't willing to force it, and we're going to try to beat the action, we were going to put double echo in front of them. Okay, no more. No bowmasters once again, so that's good. Beltan could be a problem. Two, three, four, seven. Okay, so we have double echo. Basically what I'm looking for. Just a, a play that's going to beat at least one force of will. And then if they don't have it, then great. I got three mana post echo. Surgical. They try and decide whether they want to pick up a land with days. You have to shuffle it into their deck. They do have surgical. They didn't hit echo. I mean, LED is the most common target because it's just pretty much always sitting in the graveyard and Echo is a very rare target because usually you don't give them priority with Echo in your graveyard. But uh, Echo is indeed there. I mean, if they then also counter it. Whatever. All right, not the greatest, but also not terrible. We can go looting. I even feel compelled to counter Chrome Mox. More storm. Don't hate that. Counter Chrome Mox. Okay, we got a Niner. Solid Niner. No LEDs in the deck. Multiple Rite of Flames would be nice. Yep. 
And some actual action, which we... I mean... That's alright. Horn will save us. Horn will save us. Meltdown. It did find it. Not that it really hit too much, but... It's still annoying. I only have three cards. Another Rider Flame? That's okay. Alright, go City of Traders. This looting as well. I would try to get Bergy in and just rely upon this looting. The problem is there's no great way to do that while still getting, while still having blue mana post Bergy. You know, if I play grid first, I wind up having to use this pedal. It's horn. Even sure if we're supposed to play grid, honestly. It's the F6. I was going to say, I'm not convinced they have a force. Means we go double right. Horny. Burning Wish. Down the mana. I mean, if you're just gonna let me do stuff, then don't die. Oh, we get symbol for which point. Good to just play. Oh, unless I may have had enough for lethal. Eleven. Mean if I can cast grid as well. We have three, four. Romox is five. Go down to four, get Void Snare, use Void Snare, Monolith, they had four, go back up to six, casting Monolith, down to, we have enough. Three, four, four, one, so four, five, six. 
three plus two. E. I mean, echoing is also 99.9%, .9%, right? But this is actual 100%, so it is we'll go with that. And this is what I was talking about when I said Void Snare is a ritual. We have Bergy in play. And if you have an active opal, you can actually refix your mana as well, but we don't have to do that. The, uh, the storm count wrong. <laughs> or no, I didn't. Yeah, yeah this is exact. We can still, if I had it wrong by one, still this. And get a heaps. Now, again, if we echo there, it's also just, there's no way we're not going to be able to kill them. Um, but what you do there, if that's what your play is, is you just get gamble. Is your hellbent, and then you can gamble for echo, and then cast echo. Necessarily need LED. All right. All right. Opponents said good luck and have fun. Protected and explosive, but not actually going anywhere. This could be anything. I'm going to keep it, though. A forest? This economy. Maybe Volcanic Island will deter them from playing a collect roof. I hope they force it, because, okay, I say that would mean they're a blue deck, and they might not have Collect Roof. You have a Bergy, though, which gives Collect Roof a lot of trouble. Like, they do have it. Oh. Your screen name speaks louder than your Volcanic, yeah. I know, that's why I don't really rely upon it and uh funny part is we're still gonna kill them next turn if they don't touch my bergy can't really afford to cast this looting right now though it has to wait till next turn it doesn't have to but i think it's supposed to like if looting finds Burning Wish. No, it would have to find, like, Burning Wish to write a flame. Yeah. Instead, I can just, if they don't touch Bergy, I'm, I'm going to have three looks at Burning Wish. If I miss, I still get to Echo. Okay, I don't care about that. I don't care about that. That's a big old oof. Pedal. Looting. Oh, we just 
Get it all, huh? You just get to have it all. Perfection. Not only that, but I get to wipe out, like, their whole board. I've... Fill this first. Don't... Target that, my target. Doesn't matter what last. Boop, 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 boop. 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 <laughs> boop. Boop. Bippity boop. Bippity boop, let's see the scoop. So you could gamble for Burning Wish here, but if it misses, then you have to pass the turn from Relay. If you just gamble, we're going to be gambling for Echo. Play out some mana. You have to, but I would actually like to frontside the echo, which is what makes this line so good. Just not gonna lose if you frontside an echo here. In worst case, you yeah, backside it. Swing. All right, since we have this echo here, now I will go for a burning wish. Oh, <laughs> we get wrecked. Uh oh. Now there is a chance. Now it's on a single echo. Storm is high enough where I don't have to worry about black. These into play so I don't redraw them. Ah! <laughs> We just drew the actual grape shot. That's awesome. And let's get him for Xaxes. Although finishing him off with the Berg would have been sweet too. I mean, it was a nice collect roof, but meh. And echoing truth, void snare. Hardly play trap these days. A little bit of endurance, uh, force of vigor though. That's that's what I'm. I'm only trimming one. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed this comment beforehand, Hoon. Tony, Tony, I know you love all things combo, but do you sometimes set aside your morals 
and play Delver or counter control decks occasionally. When was the last time I cast a Karn? I actually cast the Karn uh, about an hour ago on the Epic Storm YouTube Live on a list that I created. This is actually the first time I created a list that has Karn in it, ever. Ever, it's just a sideboard singleton hit with Beseech in this. Um, I played Delver for a while. I do occasionally play a little bit of tempo. I haven't in probably almost a year. When I say occasionally, and when I say tempo, I mean the deck that I like to call Pinball, which is essentially a combo deck. It's like a tempo deck that just plays Electrode and Curiosity. Let's see. Oh, you want to see the um you know this is this is what happens when you leave me alone with the Karn. I'll say that. This was my doing. Uh, the proud owner of such a piece is in the chat. Joyful Waffle. Damn, Thoughtseize is a bummer. But the sand is pretty resilient to it. The Pinger Curiosity deck? Oh, yes. <laughs> I'll have to play it some time soon. Here it is. Dark tide here. And, and a nice removal sweep. Oh yeah. AKs. Wait. No, this isn't it. Oh, this is me like bringing back my old shit, but like trying to update it. I'm just playing Arias in the side. Not the right video. Hold on. It's far back. There it is. At least. This helps against Merritt. Yeah, Gelectrode, Curiosity, Grim Lava Man. 16 lands, bunch of cantrips. Darcy is fun. It's based on a deck that I built when I was like 10. <laughs> the old, I'm going to build a counter burn deck. Oh, get wrecked, dude. Get wrecked. Uh, unbelievable. All right, so I'm not going to gamble because the best thing to gamble here, gamble for here is an LED. And of course, if it hits the LED, then it's all for nothing. But if it hits Echo, we're just opening ourselves up to Endurance. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to spin it. Uh, there's no possible chance that my opponent is happy right now. Also killed them. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well. What can I say? Sometimes you did. Sometimes you just dead. On the first turn, threw a thought seize after a mulligan. <laughs> Which is good. It's a good thing. 
You can pass have a turn two horn, which probably wins. So many things that could go wrong. That hand is clunky. This is also not great, but I think I'm going to go for the wheel. One of those things, like if you get this on seven, you mulligan, right? Because this is via gamble just a chance to echo with no additional like material except a tapped chrome box. Whereas on average, just mulliganing is going to get you a better echo. I think that just barely still holds true. We're already on a mulligan and we're going to five. This would have been a great seven. Two, three, four, six. This is three, four, five. this is ten goblins, turn one. From all the five, that's quite good. Oh, wait. No, it's a relay. Shit. I'll go like this. Probably better if I just monolith pass at this point. Bring in for me, my spice is playing two in Holy Heat instead of one in Rotella. It's not even spice, it's just other people building the deck wrong, in my opinion. Nice Bosch and Roll shirt, yeah. Agreed. It is nice. Alright, that sucked. Oh, what a bummer, man. Really not much we can do here. Relay for three, but you use all your shit to do it. Hang out. Go for up against Tempo. Probably. Oh, no, okay. Better for us. Give me an LED so we can just go to the next game. Ooh, oh! Ooh, ooh. Oh, that's graphic. That is just disgusting. <laughs> that is problematic for my opponent. You're not going to have a good time. Out to have a bad time. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. All right, we're not going to Berg. Deal with all those triggers. Some spells. Some spells. I think that's enough, right? I'm blocking the thing, yep. Smash. These fucking green decks, dude. You're gonna come out here in this economy, drop a forest. Forests. Alright, Echoing Truths, Avoid Snare. Um,
Oh, thank you, Streaming Arena. <laughs> I would never. Would literally never. Wouldn't play it. Definitely would not stream it, let alone play it. His hand is gas. It might have to deal with a collector roof. Don't thought seize me. We're gonna thought sees me. Well, the good news is they have to take relay, and our hand is pretty explosive. Otherwise, if we draw like any action, they're still just toast, anyways. Gamble, echo, burning wish, LED. It's a bummer. It just pass. Save these cards for a relay. Do it. Don't do it, OP. That's not a big deal. And give me the juice. Send in the ape. Nice one ones. It would be a shame if they had to stare down a two two. You have another one? Okay. Got it. So I can't echo now. That's a bummer. Now we're in trouble. Ugh. God damn. We use the thing. So this is where Dance with Calamity would be great. Super great. Settle for Mind's Desire. Could also Relay. This Desire feels very similar. Save my LED. Yeah. All right. Help. That does help. Okay. Echo? Echo. A burning wish! <laughs> oh, this game is so easy! 
don't even need the echoing truth, but take it. Right? Yes. Yes. This. 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 <laughs> I like this. And this is why I have such a robust Burning Wish sideboard. Because you need to have... This deck is all about giving yourself the best odds at killing your opponent on the spot. In, you know, strange circumstances like that. We didn't have Mind's Desire in our sideboard, which I'm sure plenty would argue is too redundant. Why do you have all these large sorceries in your sideboard? Abu Kimon X. All right. This is for the, trof uh, for the trophy, and it is looking hot. It is looking real hot. The only thing that would make this hotter is if Relay were some sort of mana. Fortunately, this hand doesn't actually beat... Like, they let if they let Bergy go and they have a force, that's not good for us. But we do get to gamble, at least put an Echo in the graveyard. And then, worst comes to worst, we'll be left with Ancient Tomb, Bergy, and a Time Twister, essentially. Not bad. Um, yeah, but typically in a spot like this, what you want is to be able to gamble for an echo so that you can uh, threaten two echoes in the event that they dare to let your Bergy resolve when they do, in fact, have a counter. The problem with gambling for another LED, however, is if it hits echo, you sometimes walk into something like Endurance. Um, but often enough, that's still what I'm going to do. It looks like they're f 6 and for us. So nice of them. But honestly... Go for it. We got wrecked anyways. Correct, anyways. You go for the F6 trick. No. Just actually dead. I'm not sure that I want to go all the way in, though. What I mean? We don't have double black. We will have double blue, though, so we can mine desire. The better than it's not better than a frontside echo. I seen on initiative. I mean, I guess we can go by that. Always a bummer when they're not on what they were last seen on. Alright. Idoki. E pretty these looting at these.
All right. We win this. We get the trophy. We win this game. Then we only dropped one game the whole league, I think. Yep. All right. Sand. Not great. And is also not great. <laughs> Sand is good. It has obvious problems, but we're on a multi five. They did they keep kept on seven. They could have like a ley line of the void hand. It doesn't have other lock pieces that happen sometimes. In which case, I would really want my burning wish. I guess void snare is potentially good there as well. Was burning wish? Yeah, I'll just hold on. Snare. Okay, no ley line, which means probably chalice on zero. Favorite is when they go Chalice on zero, Rome Mox. So Null Rod's pretty good too. So now we have two non-artifact blue sources in the deck. <laughs> okay. Are we going to turn one then? Could happen, folks. It could happen. It's your time to shine today. <laughs> Love it. It's, it costs a lot. But it's worth it for moments like these. Surgical, too? Printed pyrokinesis, huh? Okay, this looks pretty good. So we'll get turned on. So one, two, three, four, seven. Four mana, post wish. So we can just make a bajillion goblins. Definitely what I'm do. Or wait, no. That's enough to kill them, I mean. They make goblins when you can just kill them. Or Xaxes? Or Xaxes? <laughs> Holy shit, man. Turn one null rod? Nah. I'll just kill you. How's that? How about I just kill you? <laughs> Holy shit. 